Welcome to another short little um, news uh, gematria. Um, looking at the news this morning, uh, I was interested to see a, a guy called Colby van Voorhis. I guess it's a Dutch name, uh, possibly. Um, <coughs> who was born with thrombocytopenia. It was absent radius syndrome, tar it's called. Uh, he hasn't got any, 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 any arms. Um, rather similar to the thalidomide uh, children um, and he's got uh, he can't walk properly either um, so um, interestingly he made uh, he's made a few TikTok videos all himself and um, a happy guy and he um, uh, is a very interesting character uh, very little about him really I, I don't know when he was born or where he lives um, if anybody knows his date of birth and where he was born, I, I might be able to connect him to his birth date. Um, <coughs> um, but uh, all I know is that he, he calls himself the Armless Freak and he's quite happy about calling himself that name. And I wouldn't make this video uh, about such a word um, had he not been the one that actually uh, calls himself that. So, And what's interesting, interesting to me is that since he calls himself that, then he feels comfortable with it and therefore it must have some association to his name. Uh, and that's where I come in. And I thought, well, I want to look into a Gematria connection to see if there is indeed a connection between his name and the words armless freak. And lo and behold, I found one. Um, so what I did was this. I took Colby, this is his first name, and <coughs> there are lots of people called Colby, like um, musicians or artists or scientists, they've got the same names, um, and therefore you'll say, well, why are not all Colbys got uh, are armless freaks? Um, and the answer is, is that uh, the name doesn't actually give it, it's what one's destined. The name is given to the person because of the frequency of that name is connected to what he is or what he wants to be. And he has to have the two things together. There has to be the, the, um, the pre-planning of it and then the name is given to fit with that. So <coughs> without the pre-plan, you're not going to be that person and this is something which you come up, you'll be something else that your name equals to. But it won't be this particular one. So he chose this name. Probably he had this association, as I said many times before, uh, before he was born. So we've got three gematrias here, three systems. We're going to use the placement value. He equals 57 in the placement value, the PV. That is C is 3, O is the 15th letter, L is the 12th, 2 and 25th letter, right? So add that to get, uh, we'll get... 57 and then I use the large value and I have to remind you because people will be seeing these lectures that are not going to be seeing the other ones these are just one of that's three and I take the word three and then I work out what three is three T is 20 H is the eighth letter R is the 18th E is five and five and I add that all together I get 56 so 56 becomes the large value of C O is 15 the, the word 15 is 65 L is 12, the word 12 is 87, etc. And if I add those together, I get what I call the large value, which is 415, and that's the LV, the large value. <coughs> and then I use the normal inner value. Again, I do encourage you to look at my lectures, my first seven or so lectures, and you'll get the idea what all these are. The, there are four systems that I use mainly, um, and this is, this is three of them. Um, the NV value I get because there's a, a value which I am not using, which is the normal value, where C is 3, O is 60, L is 30, where I take the digital value, the, the decimal values, you go up to K is 10, L is, tw um, sorry, sorry, um, J is 10, K is 20, so 1 to 10, 10 to 100, 100 onwards, so S is 100, T is 200. And using that, and then that gives you what I call the normal value. And then if I do the same thing I did with the large value, but I use the normal value, so here O is not 15, it's now 60. <coughs> and I take the word 60, and 60 equals 97, and L is 30, and 30 is 100. So I get a, a system which I call the normal inner values. This is an extension of the patient value, this is an extension of the normal values. If I add this together, I get 12, 5, 10, 11, 12. 
8 and 4 and 4 is 8 plus 1 I carry is 9. So I get 922 if I add those three systems together. Now if I take Armless Freak, um, I'm going to have to rub this off. So remember that 922 was our sum of all those, 922. And then I take Armless Freak. And well, this is to show that there is nothing happens by coincidence. It's also sort of part of a plan. The person, this is where he has to see himself. He's going through a spiritual, um, a spiritual progress. We all going through a spiritual progress, and in our own ways, we have certain tests and things to get through in life. And this guy is success. He's being successful in such a wonderful way. It was just wonderful to see that he accepts who he is and he loves himself for who he is. And he realises that other people have worse than me. That's what it says in the news article. He says that uh, I see people worse off than myself and I have no reason to complain. So this is wonderful, wonderful. Uh, and he's, he's um, blossoming in, in that. That is why he's here. And we should all merit to be so good. So this is 128. That's the placement value. A is 1. 18 is the 18th letters R. So it's 18. And I'm adding all these together. <coughs> That's the 13th letter, and I get 128. And then I'm going to use the large value again. A is 1, so 1 is 34. R is 18, the word 18 is 73. And I'll add those up, and I'll get 794. That's called the large value. And if I add those up, I will get 2, K129. So I call that the whole value when I add those two together. And so I can see that his name, Kobe Colby, is connected to armless freak right and he has no problems with that and he's comfortable with it if, it's, if somebody else called him that i wouldn't do it wouldn't make a much of it i wouldn't even bother to look it's only when the person comes up with that and i find that with inventions in my book uh, beyond science where i've got <coughs> over 100 scientists in this book i show <coughs> quite often the invention is given a name by that person which is not continued by other people they change the name later on in history uh, but it was originally called by a certain name, and the scientist gives that name, and that's what he's comfortable with. And that's what he connects with. That's where I can find the gematria. I don't look to names that other people are given to people's inventions. I say, this person saw that, and he called it by that name. That's what I will look at to see if he's connected to that name, because that's what's, what he, 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 he's feeling. That's what he vibrates with, and therefore he connects to that particular name. The fact that it's changed later on doesn't matter. Um, uh, that that that's he may or may not connect to that as well. I, I don't always try, but um, I certainly would would investigate the names that the person gives. And the same thing, art uh, art pieces. It's got to be the art name that person gives to his own art, not what other people call it. That's what he connects will, will connect with mostly. Okay, thank you very much for that uh, for for listening. Please give me a like and subscribe and share my videos with other people. Thank you.